Hello everyone, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ to everyone. Uh, just to show you, you know, uh, uh, why Muslims are very low, like when we say there is high class and low class. Uh, the reason, if your master is a low class, you cannot be higher than your master. I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Like, if the top man for you is a very low man, very low, maybe under the ground even, actually he's under the ground now, his name is Muhammad. How you can be higher than him? For me, the top I follow, his name is Jesus Christ, and he's alive, not under the ground. And he is the best and the only one who never have sinned. I will show you how the Prophet of Islam, this is a guy, he came to my uh, page and he claimed to be an ex-Christian. By the way, all Muslims, they are ex-Christians. Ex all of them. <laughs> Especially in YouTube. Anyway, I will show you how he challenged me to prove the truth. Muslims, they are learning from their God. Okay, how the God of Islam, he challenged the Christians to prove the truth. Let us see. I will play for you his video and his video have a Quran this is the ultimate challenge and he's supposed to he's challenging the Christians let us see how the God of Islam challenged the Christian to prove the truth do you know how don't laugh please let us hear and see how we will go and we will play the video here we go and let us see he's playing Quran it's, it's an ugly voice I don't want you to hear it Satanic voice. Here we go. Uh, you know, okay. Let us see what he's saying to us. And we will love. Wait, let us go back. I will go back. Okay. Now, if you want to debate the Christians, this is how they debate. So, you know what? If you want to if you want to prove who is the one is right and who is the one he is saying the truth, let us do this. This is what the Quran is saying. Say, come, come and let us gather together. This is Muhammad, his God, Allah talking now. This is not Muhammad himself, this is Allah talking saying say come let us gather together okay our sons and your sons our women and your women ourselves uh -huh, and and yourself okay <laughs> then let us okay pray and invoke curse of God on those who lie guys the liar he want to prove himself as honest by let us gather and pray that the one who is a liar Allah will curse him you know the man who is a liar it is not going to hurt him to say one more lie if you are just a liar so praying to God to curse you if you are a liar is, is it a proving to me that you are an honest don't tell me the liar don't know that he's a liar do he know or not he knew correct so what the idea of approving yourself by saying okay you know what to prove who is right who is wrong he is not debating because he cannot debate he is not approving because he cannot answer Muhammad never and he never been able to answer a question actually there's Surah 5 verse 101 says it clearly don't ask me questions about things look plain for you because he's a fool like his God don't ask me questions the only way Muhammad he will answer you by saying to you let us gather together and let us pray to Allah and, and, and listen here guys you see something funny like let us say I am debating this guy who have this video why the God of Islam saying bring your wives and our wives your son and our son your women and our I am the one is debating you man this is showing me that this God, he have a big mouth, saying nothing. Why you want to break our kids in it? 
What, what the boys, little boys, little girls have to do with this? So all of us, all of us, guys, listen carefully. Okay, all of us will pray to God so he will curse the one he is saying lies. Okay, you know what? Why the women and the kids and the boys will be involved in this if they are not part of the lie? So are you accusing even the kids of Christians to be liars too? You know, I, I, have, I have a friend, he is a Christian. His son is four years old and last time he told me he did lie to him. He eat a candy and you know he said I did not eat it you see the liar so is that man this religion is the most fancy stupid religion so he cannot answer questions he cannot debate so all what he said let us pray to curse the Satan he would love to say I swear in the name of God that's I am honest if it's going to make you believe him the Satan would love to say, I pray to Allah. You know, if Allah is God, as Muslims claim, right? I pray to Allah. If I am a liar, curse me. No, do, do Satan knew he is a liar? Do so, Satan he knew he will go to hell? He knew. <laughs> this, is, this is because your prophet is living in this ability. Same as you. All Muslims cannot answer us. And let me show you something. This is Surah 5 verse 101. You're a prophet because he cannot answer anyone and he have no answer and actually he have no idea for what he's saying because he's just saying what they have been told to say. He is copying from other man words. Oh you who believe ask not questions about things which made plain to you. <laughs> If you ask those questions, what will happen? Listen in here. May cause you trouble. Why? Guys, if I cannot ask the God or ask the prophet of God, I'm going to ask who? The guy in the grocery store? Why I cannot ask questions about things look plain for me? If the word of God is a word for me, to talk to me, to explain to me, why you don't want me to understand me? Do you see how stupid this verse is? But the fact is not stupid. By making this verse, Muhammad, he stopped all people from asking him a question. Because he have no answers. Because he's fake, because he's a liar. And if you are a liar, you have to make something to stop people from asking you. Imagine I am, you know, I am, I, I am someone he claimed to be a doctor. And you start asking me questions about medicine. Like, write, write the name of this medicine for me. I, you know, and they say, well, I don't know even how to spell it. You know, right away you will expose me, you will know I am a liar. But when I say, I make a sign, in our hospital, whoever enter our clinic, you cannot ask any question to the doctor. How you will know I am a doctor or not? You will never know. You will never know. So this man, he claimed to be a prophet, and he is warning them. It is a sin. You will be in trouble. You will go to hell if you ask questions about things look plain for you in this book, the stupid book of Allah, because nobody understand it anyway. But if you ask about things when the Quran is being revealed, they will be made plain to you. So why Allah is making it then? And Allah will forgive those for Allah. What? What? Why Allah will forgive? You know, guys, if, if you're reading here, uh, 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 you know, there's something very, very funny, very stupid, but at the same time very dangerous. Allah will forgive you for a question you ask in the past that's okay okay but don't ever do it again you are not allowed to ask questions in Islam and this guy he is saying to me uh, I challenge you let us curse you curse your kids you we curse our kids and the one he is saying a lies Allah will curse him you know if I don't believe in your God Allah anyway and you are saying Allah by the way it's not God there I can show you the surah it is Allah Shame on you to change your Quran and to make the word God when it says Allah. Do you see it? Allah. Allah. The word God does not exist. Allah. So, you know what? I can say to you, if you are smart, but you are not smart for sure. As long as I am not a believer in Allah anyway, I can say to you, if I am a liar, may Allah curse me, because I don't believe in Allah anyway. You God, Allah, I don't believe in Him. You see how stupid you are? If those people don't believe in Allah anyway, 
So what the idea of saying, may Allah curse us if we are lying? You see how stupid the Muslims are? <laughs> you know, when you say to me, say, may Allah the God of Islam curse me, as if you are saying to me, may the DVD or your flat TV curse me. What a different. For me, Allah is a pagan, is not exist. Follow with me with the coming video, you joker. Actually, I'm going to post in my uh, website uh, 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 from today long videos in investigateislam.com, and you guys, you can start watching in there because you know YouTube is very short video and it's not really enough to answer any video. We have a short account and it's not enough to uh, to make it uh, sometime clear. Jesus is Lord Islam for fool, as you see. I mean.